Okay, so let's demo PowerShell. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do first. I'll show you PowerShell.exe, and then I'll show you SQL PS. There's really not much uh, of a difference unless you want to run a SQL command. Use that invoke SQL command. So you could just go over to your run prompt. You could type in, uh, you could even do this. You could go to your command prompt and then type in PowerShell, and you can actually watch it load up PowerShell. So right now, you're no longer in the command prompt. We can see right here, PS, I'm now in PowerShell. Now, I could, if I wanted to, instead of doing that, I could just go to the run prompt and type in PowerShell. I'm just going to hit cancel here. There's another technique that I can use. I can go to Windows PowerShell 1.0, and I can just issue it directly here. If you're working on a server and you do not see PowerShell installed, then it's going to be one of the features that you have to install, one of the Windows components, one of the uh, Windows uh, features here. So you'll go to your server manager. Like I'm on a Windows uh, 2008 box. So you would go to your server manager and you would enable the feature for PowerShell. I don't feel like going through the pain in the you know what that this screen offers me, but that's how you would get the PowerShell installed. Um, for those of you on Windows 2003 XP, it's a separate download that you have to install. Okay, so Windows PowerShell, let me just go back over here. Uh, sometimes you'll see on certain computers, you'll see the blue background, and some people like yellow colors. I, don't, I just leave mine a black and white. I think it shows up uh, you know, fairly well. Um, I just want to show you a couple of pieces here within PowerShell that may get you started. You'll notice here that it looks just like DOS, and it is just like DOS. If I say DIR, you'll notice I get the directory list here. Um, if I say use the CD, I want to go to the root of the C drive. Sure enough, that's exactly how I do it, and I can do that. I can make directory, and so now I've made a new directory, Scott. So remember what I said. Anything you can do at the command line, you can also do here at PowerShell. What I want to do, though, and, and what we've talked about doing, is issue SQL statements or perform some type of SQL server uh, manipulation or database administration. So let me clear the screen, CLS. So again, just like uh, working at the DOS prompt, right? So do you remember the SQL server commandlet that allowed us to issue a SQL statement? Yeah, it was invoke SQL command, right? You remember that? And so I tell it that I want a query, and, you know, I could say uh, select all from sys.databases or whatever that you wanted to uh, put in here. But when I do this, then PowerShell doesn't recognize invoke SQL command as a commandlet. I haven't registered the commandlet with PowerShell. Only thing I need to do to do that is SQL PS. Okay. So I'm in PowerShell, and I say SQL PS, and you watch it switch over. Now you can see the SQL Server PowerShell, the mini shell here. You can see the version number. Um, I don't know why through Service Pack 1 they did not update this, but it was not updated in, pa in Service Pack 1, so it still shows the RTM release. And you'll notice here the what's called the SQL Server Drive. Okay, so <laughs> I can switch between, this is so neat, I can switch between working with the operating system or I can switch back over to the SQL Server Drive. And you can see then when I do the DIR, all the cool stuff. You are able to treat your SQL Server just like files and folders. So here, notice that I want to go, I want to use the database engine. So I can say, here's the name, CD SQL. Okay? And now I can see all the pieces that are here. I have one machine on this machine on this uh, physical server, one instance. So now I can say CD. I don't know why I'm doing that uh, there. Doesn't matter. Learn it first. Ten. Oops. And I messed up. I should have. Uh, I can hit Control C to stop the execution, but it's still trying to connect to an instance. Learn it first underscore ten. And we'll try again. And by the way, you can cycle through your previously issued commands using the up and down arrows on your keyboard. So now I connect to that instance. You can see that there are, on this server rather, there's two instances. So I now want to use the default instance. 
And now underneath that, I can see databases. I can see logins, DIR logins. And I'm just able to access this just like it was a regular command line, right? Well, that's kind of interesting. That's not something that I think you're going to find is more fun than playing in the management studio. It is a very management studio interface, by the way. It's just like drilling down through hierarchies, right? Like we could go CD to Scott Wiggum and then uh, take a look here. Um, oh, I need a CD logins slash Scott Wiggum because you could see we did a directory of logins and then there's Scott Wiggum. And when I take a look there, bring it over here. Then take a look. You can't. There's really no properties below that level that we could actually see. Okay. Now that we've got the basics of the SQL Server drive, okay, and using SQL PS, let me show you inside the Management Studio over here the integration. So when we're on databases and we right click and we say start PowerShell, then it automatically loads up SQL PS and it puts us in that same location, right? This is the same thing we could have done ourselves. We could have gone to PowerShell. We could have loaded up SQL PS. We could have done all of our switching over. We could have said CD, SQL, and I want to use the machine, learn it first, dash 10, and I want to use the oops, default instance. Um, I'm sorry typing and talking apparently right we could have done all that it just does it automatically for us so default slash databases okay. and so I'm in the exact same situation so it's just a shortcut when it says to start PowerShell there that's all the that's all it is okay, okay. Uh, and by the way when we're in our SQL agent just to show you the coverage of the jobs let me get it to start that up um, stopped right now come on man you're slow when you make a job you'll notice that one of the steps if we go take a look at that is PowerShell okay so we can actually choose to do a PowerShell script okay I'll just show you that okay so there's some other little bits and pieces here let me um, let me just uh, we I, I don't even need the SQL server side of it here just give me some clean stuff here so you need to know some of the basic commandlets when you're working with PowerShell one of the ones you want to know is get help and if you just run get help they did a good job of integrating a lot of this uh, on screen help here so you can see you can just say get help to get the syntax or you can say get help and you can include a commandlet so if you don't know the syntax for example of invoke SQL command then you could just say get help invoke SQL command and it will give you the syntax of it here's what it will do here's the syntax here how how we use uh, connect to a server which database that I want to use what the query is that I'd like to work with so there's a lot of other information that you can pass in here okay? so get help is something you definitely want to know uh, you can also type in get command and you can see a list of all of the current commandlets that you're able to work with here. So you could see the type over here, the commandlet that we have. And of course you could say get help, get command to get a list of how to actually extend that with the PSS uh, snap-ins, the PowerShell snap-ins, or to get other information that you wanted to. Okay, so there's a there's a lot of help built directly into the PowerShell shell itself, okay? Uh, and you can say, like, uh, here's one that you might uh, care about. So we could say, get help SQL Server, <laughs> and it will tell you all about the SQL PS and how to use that. And You get almost way too much information <laughs> if you do. So just to show you, that was get help SQL Server if you wanted to uh, to play around with that, okay?